Well, welcome back, everyone. Tom here with another presentation. Um, this is a painting that's not totally from imagination, but rather from memory. Often the fall time of the year is when I'm out taking a lot of photographs. Those photographs sometimes build up to a painting that I think I would like to try. And it's a good thing I take fall uh, photographs in the fall because come winter, especially right now, things are pretty cold. Snows are pretty deep. It's nice to have something to do in the wintertime here in my studio. So it's always a risk working from memory, and I think you might <laughs> even agree with that when you see the photo that I'll show you towards the end of the piece here. But for now, let's maybe just think of this once again as a painting that is being done from imagination. Again, my monochromatic start is to simply establish drawing and value relationships. Color will come in time. The paint surface at this point is, uh, well, it's rather slick. And it takes a bit of patience to let the values and the textures build up. Maybe as a note to myself, I should consider when I first apply the initial wash of kind of a middle tone gray, that I should just let that uh, burn off, let the vapors burn off a bit, and maybe the paint will behave better. But for now, this is what I'm doing. So while that's going on, I'm considering very carefully how to build my depth of space with layers that feel logical in this painting. You see, I have no strong leading lines that can help me go visually back into the depth of space. And so I need to rely on aerial perspective and layering in order to help me do that. It does help that I'm listening to something on the radio that helps me hold my attention uh, on this process while I'm working. Because there are parts of it can, that can be a little tedious. It's a very necessary part of the painting. It's a good groundwork that I need to establish so that when I come over, it, over the top with color, it uh, goes more smoothly because I have established those beginning values and textures. Fall, and really when I say fall, I mean October. It's the season or time of the year when Butterfield Canyon in particular is on, just on fire with color. And uh, that was the case with uh, this memory that I'm working with, that I am working from. Some of the colors, uh, when I get to that point, they might even surprise you. So it's the process of moving to various places within the picture plane and working on some kind of combination of marks and values that start to work for me visually. It's, it, it takes an investment of time and energy to know what you want in a piece as you work this way. At least that's the way it is for me. And each new piece kind of demands new things of me. So what would that be, you might ask? Well, your own experience is going to teach you that. Often it's a very individual thing based on trial and error that comes from experience. In other words, you have to invest some time and energy into this process of painting in order to get to know how you yourself uh, like to work, what your process is. And I'm talking years, even decades, to get to know what you like to do, what you want to do, what you're looking for in the painting that you wish to make. There's a lot to the process here. One begins with simple drawing. 
And that's really what I'm doing when I go to this single color. I'm just concentrate on drawing, concentrating on drawing. And then from there, as I keep working at it, then I can add color and the other complexities of texture and design until I get to the point where I feel successful with it. So it's a process, and that's kind of the watchword here. I'm kind of surprised as I'm talking to you about this, I'm coming back to the word process. It's a process, and it's a fun one. can be exasperating sometimes, but can be a very fun one as well. Well, okay. I think at this point I'm going to let you uh, listen to some music for a little bit and I'll see you on the other side and we will talk some more.
I hope you enjoyed the process of watching this painting come together. The flower that I'm painting here with the white through the lift out process that you saw take place. It's the flower known as chamisa in Spanish. In English here we typically call it rabbit brush. It produces a prodigious amount of blossoms on its big bushes throughout August, September, and October. It's a very beautiful plant. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. Take care, have yourselves a great day, and happy painting to you.